Hey guys, I want to thank all my supporters on Patreon for their generosity towards me and for helping to make my videos possible. You guys are awesome. If you're curious about what kind of rewards I offer to my patrons, please check the link below for more information. Thanks again and enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to The Wandering Wind. I'm glad to be here today and today I want to talk a bit about uh, just, you know, how technology has changed in the last 20, 25 years. Because to be honest, I remember back when I was about three to four years old, the most sophisticated thing that we had out was the Nintendo Entertainment System. We didn't have smartphones. We didn't have high-end computers. We didn't have the internet. <laughs> the internet... Back in 2001, 2002, we had AOL. Anyone remember America Online? Oh, that was joy. Not really, but you know. Um, basically, it's like the horror stories of what you what you hear today about the end of net neutrality. It was a gated. It was a gateway to the internet that only let you go to certain areas. You had your games, games. You had your um, chat rooms, <laughs> basically the early version of Reddit. Um, you had uh, weather, you had news, and you had a couple other things. But it was all through America Online, and it was all kind of. Eh. Um, I remember, I remember having a Super Nintendo. Um, I don't know, late nineties, early two thousands. And I remember having fun with that. We would play Donkey Kong Country until the cows came home. Not literally, I wasn't a farm kid or anything, but, you know. Um, but I remember playing, um, after getting our first video game console, I remember really getting into video games. I mean, seriously getting into video games. I remember that was one of the first things that I really loved to do which did not help my physical state any. In fact, I think that's when I really did start to gain weight was around the time that we started getting the video games. I, re <laughs> I remember my first Game Boy. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an original Game Boy. No, it was a Game Boy Color. It was a Game Boy Color. And the reason why was because... Um, Pokemon... Pokemon... Uh, Yellow had just come out, and um, mom got me that for Christmas, and or mom and dad got me that for Christmas and got me a Game Boy. Well, they wanted to get me a good one, so they got me the newest one, and it was a, I believe it was one of the seafoam green color Game Boys and a <laughs> brand new copy of Pokemon Yellow Pikachu Edition. And I loved that game. I was obsessed with Pokemon. I was obsessed with the anime. I thought Misty was hot. <laughs> I think Misty was my first uh, TV crush, I think. I'm pretty sure. First anime crush, anyway. I'm not sure about um, regular TV show. Um, I don't think I ever had any of those. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Um, but nowadays we have so many different bits of technology. We have, we have smartphones that are a hundred times more powerful than the Game Boy and are a fraction of the size that it was. I mean, the Game Boy would take up your whole two hands and still have, still have very little room left up for anything else. Um... Oh, and the peripherals for that thing. Oh, good lord. I rem I just saw a video today of a really weird peripheral that you basically, you sat it on your table, you took the front plate off, you put your Game Boy into it, you plug in the ca cables and stuff, you put the front plate back on, and it's now basically a tabletop console instead of a portable one. <laughs> So, like, what? I mean, 
granted, it came with its own built-in magnifier because back then the screens were so darn, so darn small that seeing some of the text and stuff was nigh impossible. But <laughs> it was it was awesome. It really was. Um, I also remember, for some odd reason, I remember um, having a Sega Game Gear at one point. Now, that was an interesting console. That was one of the first handheld portable consoles that came with a built-in light so you could play in the dark. I think the only reason that didn't catch on with other companies until the Game Boy Advance SP later on was because for the for the longest time it was believed that um, children shouldn't use backlighting on anything or front lighting on anything because it would keep them awake at night, which yeah, it did me, um, and everything else. I mean, <laughs> I was I was awful with the Game Gear. I'd be up at two a.m. Gregory, you got to go to school in the morning. Go to bed. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I remember so many different things about the Game Boy. I mean, and various consoles after. And now we have these. And you can play games like Pokemon and anything else on this just as easy as you could the original consoles. It's amazing what technology does. It's amazing how technology grows. But, but above all, it's amazing where technology is going to be going because I tell you what, in the next 20 years, we will not even recognize what technology has become then. We'll, we'll, we'll look back and go, wait a minute, whatever happened to the days of smartphones? Nowadays, we have a chip in our head that we use as a smartphone. We've got augmented reality lenses that we put in our eyes and we can view the world through the eyes of the internet with all the information already pulled up for us. We can look at a package and see exactly what the expiration date is, who the manufacturer is, whatever. <laughs> we don't even need computers anymore because we're walking computers. That'll be fun, but that'll also be just as mystifying and just as um, overwhelming for some people as today's world is for those that were born in an earlier generation, a generation that didn't really have a whole lot of time to adapt. So technology marches on, but don't let it march on and leave you confused. Learn everything you can. Be a detective. Find out what that newfangled thing is that you really don't know anything about but you want to learn a bit about and be always be prepared to just have fun doing what you do. I hope you have a great day. I love you very much and I'll see you again soon. Bye.